I recently found this black paper that will be a game changer for coloured pencil drawings if it actually works. I've struggled with getting a smooth, rich, dark black background for my coloured pencil drawings in the past, and my go-to paper is actually white pastel mat. And the reason that I use white is because coloured pencil is a fairly transparent medium, which means that the colours are much more vibrant when you work on a white surface. And this white paper in particular allows you to create some really vibrant pieces which look almost like a painting rather than a drawing. But sometimes I want to create a moodier piece with a rich dark background instead. I've tried a few different black papers in the past but they all came with different problems. Some had too much texture in the paper which made the drawing look too grainy. Some were not really black, they were more of a dark grey which just made the work look a little dull or the paper didn't really have the ability to add as many layers as I would like so that I could add the right amount of depth and details on top. I've also tried using other mediums like gouache paint or pan pastel to fill in the background with a nice even coverage, but sometimes the difference in the mediums create different textures or finishes and it just doesn't look very cohesive as a whole. I've used some toned grey and brown papers by the brand Canson in the past and I've just discovered that they actually make a black version of this as well. It looks like the same kind of paper that I have used before, which is technically a pastel paper. I actually hate this paper for pastel, but if you turn the paper over and use the back side, it has a really smooth finish that is great for coloured pencil. So I'm hoping that the black version of this paper is the same as the other toned versions that I've used before. My initial thoughts are that it feels the same as the other pastel papers that I've used for coloured pencil, and the colour is quite dark. This is the anthracite pastel mat colour, so you can see the difference between the two. I use the white pastel mat a lot with coloured pencil, but they don't really do a dark black colour. This is the darkest colour that they do, and while it's not technically marketed as black paper, you can see how dark this Canson paper really is in comparison. So let's try it out. I chose a smaller piece to try out first so that I don't waste too much time on this if I don't end up liking the paper. But because the drawing is really small, it's not going to have the amount of depth and detail that some of my larger pieces have, and it will look more grainy in comparison because of the size. So I have to keep that in mind that this won't be a masterpiece, but that's totally fine because I'm just doing this to try out the new paper using some of my normal techniques. If this doesn't work, I'll have to go back to using my usual process of adding a lot of layers of coloured pencil to the background to try and get that rich dark colour without having too many pencil strokes showing in the end result. And I really don't want to do that all the time because it just takes a really long time and I honestly get bored and <laughs> rush through it, which means that my artwork doesn't look as good as it could. The first question I have is, will my method of blending stain the paper in any way? Some papers I've used in the past left kind of an oily looking mark around the subject when the solvent dried and it's really hard to cover up, especially if you want the paper colour to be the background without adding any coloured pencil on top to cover up that stain. I also want to find out if the pencil strokes look smoother and softer like it does when I blend on other papers or if the pigment will just sink into the black of the paper which can make your drawing look really grainy and crayon like. This is the solvent that I'm using and it's the same kind of thing that oil painters would use. It's blending out quite nicely and starting to look softer and less grainy. And it's not disappearing into the black of the paper too much, it still looks pretty vibrant. The next question I have is, what will it look like when the solvent dries completely? I've tried other papers in the past where it looked great while it was still wet and then went back to looking grainy like it did before I blended it. Okay, so it looks pretty decent once it dries, so I can work with that. So now the most important question is, will this paper allow me to add enough layers to get a good amount of depth and details on top to make it look more realistic? Something I'm noticing is that the colours don't look as vibrant and saturated as they would if I'm working on a white paper, but that's to be expected with any kind of toned or coloured paper. In my experience of working with brown or grey toned papers, the colours are still pretty vibrant in comparison to this black paper, but obviously not as vibrant as the white paper would be. Coloured pencils are not opaque, so we can't really expect that much vibrancy, especially when working on black paper. 
because the colour of the paper will show through and it will make the colours look darker than they actually are. If you're used to a more opaque medium like pastels, you wouldn't have a problem with vibrancy because pastels will cover up the black of the paper very easily. The good news is that this paper is allowing me to get enough detail to create something that looks pretty realistic and I'm quite happy that I can add multiple layers of coloured pencil and that the solvent still holds up nicely. So this paper doesn't allow as many layers as the white pastel mat and also isn't as vibrant as that paper, but I think the Canson black pastel paper is a great option for those times when I want a really rich, dark background. Pastel mat is a very unique surface to work on, so in this video I share everything you need to know about working on this surface with coloured pencils to get those really vibrant painterly results.